Hello and welcome back. I am Count Christo and this is Kaiserreich Campaign. He has the Carnate. <laughs> There's far too many. There's too many Ks you can get in there. But we are, of course, Mongolia and the all cab run is going extremely well, if I do say so myself, and I do. So let's garrison up all these nice new ports that we've just acquired. I don't want to send the full experience one, though. No, no, I don't want to delete him either. I just want him to become cab 3. And then, no, he shouldn't go to Hanoi after that. He should be redeployed to the main force. Some of you will do, but not the very high experience ones. So that one. Come do Hanoi for me. Well, port next to Hanoi. I think we can do a speed 3 now. The Egypts. Egypt. Egyptians, is what I mean to say, have arrived. That's very helpful. They should hopefully get themselves to a front line and start doing something useful soon. I thought I just had to own Guanzhou for this one. Any allied country owns Guanzhou, or owns Guanzhou, or any country the subject owns Guanzhou. Well, I own it. Me. Maybe you have to be at peace. Maybe owner doesn't mean occupied. That's probably it. Oh no! They got my guy! The Welsh Union has capitulated. Excuse me. You didn't invite your puppets to the Internationale. Oh no, that wasn't the peace conference. The peace conference was the Nubian Federation. So they puppeted. No, they didn't even puppet them. What are you doing? Why on earth? What? Why? That seems very dumb to me. Well, what's going on over here? The Union State is just being finished off. Canada has uh, clearly launched some level of successful invasions onto the British mainland, so it could be a problem for them. Just hold on long enough, commies. The first Russian division has been sighted. Russia doesn't have the economy to front much of a much of a force in the at the moment, so I'm pretty sure, even though they have quite a few divisions to start with going to be able to, to crush them with some well-placed encirclements. We should uh, should have them down to almost no equipment in no time. Have this guy just rush straight across and then down the other side. That should work. Just don't take any land, Japan. You already took plenty of land off me when you stole Beijing. Still can't believe that happened without even a pop-up. No need to attack when they're not winning there. They've got one supply, which will probably be enough for one guy. You guys could redeploy. Oh no, I didn't mean to turn on day-night cycle. I always do that. Hit the N rather than the, uh, the B for the day-night cycle. Do -do -do -do. Uh, is that a port? No, it isn't. Okay, we've got all our ports covered. Portugal, you've already had your war with Italy over, right? No, it never happened. Normally Portugal gets their land seized by uh, Deutsche Mittel Africa, but not this time apparently. So it looks like we've got all our ports secure. Yes. Well, secure as they can be with one cab holding them, which is not very, admittedly. More Russians sighted. <coughs> you guys. All of these guys? Is that too many? I think we're still leaving enough down here for now. Get yourselves up here. And I do so. Ah, it's a freaking day night cycle. Do so very rapidly. The fresh guys we have deploying can be used partly for uh, port defence and a potential campaign against the Dutch East Indies. Although, yeah, we're going to have to go through Siam, I think, to accomplish that. So we should probably start justifying on them at some point. But I really like having all this political power right now. The Fall of Atlanta. Yeah. They are in, in trouble here. What was that? Oh, new convoy result. 14 convoys down. So, sorry, 12 convoys down. 12 convoys, I believe, is a full division. So, sadly, the Lunfeng, Lufeng division was wiped out entirely there. That is a shame. Let's bring one down from here as well. What's this port called? I'm not even going to try that one. Alright, got this guy encircled. Once these guys have their organisation up, we shall take him out. No, no, keep attacking. Never stop attacking. The 
there is no one resisting you. Just go for it. <clears throat> okay, so this endless warp to the Alash Order <laughs> and the Turkistan Garnet is still raging. <gasps> Non-aggression pack from Japan. Oh. Oh, securing our rear border. I was worrying about the fact that we're going to have this. This is so exposed from a backstab from them. I'm going to take it. Non-aggression pacts secured with Japan. That is pretty good. They now like us a bit. Can you give me any infantry for a bit? <laughs> no. But anything else? No? No? Fair enough. AI doesn't seem to want to give lend least these days. But that is really good. That I'm happy about that change. Because obviously, you know, we can break it. It's just that we can't break it for a while. So this gives us time to focus on Russia. Okay, so the Russians have arrived. We need to start I need to start paying proper attention to this front now. Do, doing things like this. Give you guys fall. Obviously don't want you assigned to these silly little pockets. Okay, yeah. We need to start paying serious attention to this northern front now. You guys are not needed over there because there are no Russians in the entire Siberian region. So we can just have one guy spider around taking it all. Likewise, you guys are not needed over there. Get over here. Well, we didn't make it to the Urals. This is a very nice river though, so we've got a perfectly good defensive position if we have to go on the defensive turn of the day-night cycle. No one likes the day-night cycle. Uh, let's retreat from that one. No point fighting fights that we won't win right here. But we do want to delay them a bit while our reinforcements rush up from the south. Let's delete all these orders so no one else gets assigned to them by mistake. Beautiful. Okay. Still haven't pulled in. Oh no, they have pulled in Transmog, but they just never actually attacked from these two. What I'm hoping happens over here with Japan is that Feng Tang declares independence and then we can suddenly attack them. That, that's my kind of my uh, pie in the sky scenario for how we end up taking out Japan. Meanwhile, seizing the Vietnamese rubber is very good. So we are getting slight resistance in some of these states, which we shall respond to with uh, slightly excessive force to begin with as we have these 62 divisions ready to go. We've got enough equipment to uh, add more to this. Just do one, one row. No, but let's overstack it. I want, I want guys training as much as possible. Transport still never launched any offensive. That's uh, it's very nice of them. Because we've got all this lovely, lovely steel. So I can cancel imports of that. Still not actually producing enough rubber. I guess we haven't just haven't taken the uh, relevant state down here of Saigon. Okay, so the Russian front is uh, is a problem. Don't let me tell you it isn't. Okay. Someone just clean up this. Cleaning it up should help with our supply problems. We are winning most of these fights, but it's very high danger of encirclement just here right now. So let's, let's pull back a bit. Come on, guys, get here. You are needed. Needed urgently. We have a lot of spare artillery. <clears throat> I, would, I would quite like to switch all these cav into, uh, into my devil cav. If we could push them back, that would help secure this front here against encirclement. This guy's fought in. Okay. Should be able to close this now. He's having some supply problems. At least it looks like he was. Maybe he just launched attack and lost. That's why he was on no org. Oh, hello. <laughs> the Germans have arrived in Saigon. That is bad timing. We were so nearly taken that port. We cemented their defeat. All right, well, I guess we will actually have to send some guys down here to deal with them. As soon as we wrap up this. You guys can come down here. And you can both not be deleted. Be switched. Cav 3. It's mostly just artillery we need to switch them to Cav 3. Stop. Yeah. Stop all AI attacks. <coughs> with the exception of this one. How many divisions are on this attack? Four. That sounds like plenty to me, to be honest. Uh, on 
this one, however, there are two, which is too many. We don't want any down there. No, 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 not here. Here. Reach the front line. Here goes ones. Good. Hold that attack. It's a problem. It's a problem. They encircle us up here. That would be that would be nasty. No AI attacks. Counter attack here. So that this they can't actually move into this province. Seems good. Take that one to reduce the chance of encirclement up here. If you take these, you take these, you take these. Good. Okay, well, the Russians are deploying heavily against me, which makes sense because they don't actually have a personal front line with anybody else. So we can expect serious Russian opposition here. How do we get around that? Well, we could attack the Alash Order, rush up here, making sure not to border the Russians yet and then suddenly border them here, blitz up here, take the Urals, encircling their entire army. It just sounds wonderful. We should do that. Let's do that. We're going to stabilize the front line, make sure we're all, all secure, and then we're going to go through the Alash order and into the Urals. That will probably require declaring war on the Turkestan Khanate as well, because once the Alash order capitulates, they'll have loads of war score, and they might take land. Sorry, just muting myself for a moment there. All right, let's move in here so I can cease this attack and immediately resist their counter. I do not want to withdraw from this river. The extra guys are almost here. Oh, they're walking. Strategically redeploy, please. If you would be so good. I'm gonna need you to hurry it up a bit here. Take that for me. And we did, it looks like, accomplish our goal. We have taken the entire Japanese-Russian border. Which means I can extend this guy's orders. Also, take all this. All this, please. All of... All of the east is ours. Okay, you can cease that counterattack now. Reinforcements are almost here. them back just a little bit here that would be great just to straighten out this front line a little bit make me feel a bit more secure <laughs> they're assigning so many vents taking out these two empty provinces uh silly ai all right right hanoi i so, sorry saigon what are you doing you fools this is so good <laughs> It's going to let me encircle all seven of these divisions. <laughs> oh dear. Not a bright move, China. Not a bright move at all. They don't appear to have any intention of moving out of Saigon, so we can just peacefully wander into place, let these guys bleed a little bit, and then crush in. I could do with some more men down here. How, red, how long? Not very long at all. Rush deploy these guys. And we're not going to give them any uh, orders. That's my strategy for these. These guys destroy point four, point two resistance growth each per day. So if we just send two of them to each of these provinces, that should be enough. Anyone nowhere else appears to have resistance growth. Oh, no, just here. Anam has plus 1.2. That is uh, quite significant. Send down eight. That would get rid of 1.6. It's too much. Two of them can stay here. And we're just never going to give them orders. Western Siberia, low supply. Yes, that that does make sense. <laughs> we are, after all, fighting in Siberia. What has happened here? These guys are standing in this province, attacking this province, despite the fact that I own this province. I think that means if I win this defense here, they get overrun. I'm not sure. These guys have just strictly redeployed in, which is why they're on such low organization. Trying to pocket me. I guess we have to fall back. Yeah, because we're definitely going to lose that fight. But they shan't be able to advance as long as I still have an active attack on this province. Unless they're also attacking from the north, which they're not. Recon Company 1. We've got lots of spare support equipment. Well, 600. Do I have enough to add recon companies? This will take... 500, and we have a spare 600. Okay, let's do it. We're down on infantry equipment there, though. Yeah, back, straight back in. If we can just refill this slot, yeah. 
You won't be able to hold it yet. Don't attack across the river. Maybe I should fall back to this river. Just to make the, the front line even more one-sided. Well, even more one-sided. It's not very one-sided in our favour at the moment, but I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to fall back to this river. Like so. Because there's no reason to hold this area, right? Three civilian factories and a bit of chromium? Yeah, I could do without it. One military factory, that's fine. So we're going to fall back to here and then do the uh, through the Alash Order strategy. <clears throat> so you guys... I'm going to let the guys entrench on the river a bit first. Free tech slots. Uh, entrenchment. Entrenchment is uh, above pretty much all. Well, we're cab, we're mobile. Entrenchment is not as important as support weapons. Okay, so those seven are still just standing there. <clears throat> Content, apparently, with their lot. Got rid of the resistance in China. Good. <clears throat> Do we fall back? I think we fall back. I love the strategy of going through the Alash Order and circling this whole army. That'd be so good if we can pull that off. <clears throat> this is just so odd. <laughs> Get in here and fight these guys. We're down 15,000 inf uh, infantry equipment right now. Let's, uh, let's cancel these ones. I wish you could see a deficit before training troops and after training troops. That would be really handy. As in, you know, a total that doesn't include the deficit that would be required to fill all your troop training. Okay, so now let's start bringing back more and more of these guys. We're going to go with a very orderly retreat here, preferably. We are going to need to increase the infrastructure around here. We've got some free time to do that right now. Let's do it. Let's uh, pump two here. We're not going to remain in control of this state, unfortunately, so we can't improve the infrastructure there. Uh, Mongolia is right here, so let's go straight up to four on this whole front line. We may not remain in control of Tomosk, unfortunately. Let these guys reorganize on the front line. I'm going to strategically redeploy them around a bit, just so they get into position and start entrenching as soon as possible. Our capital being so nearby, we should be able to get a decent supply up here. If we, uh, if we put our mind to it. You guys should go up here. <clears throat> and then some of you can get ready for a uh, blitz against the Alash Order. Which will come like so. Okay. How are these guys doing? Zero supply, so they're just bleeding out. If they're content to sit there and bleed out, I'm going to let them. Zero battles currently engaged. Ah, no, there's one. Okay, if they're not going to be engaging us right now, now is the time to fall back. So let's do so. I mean, not through them. <laughs> I'm considering whether or not I should fall back here, because this river would be lovely to defend. They've got so many men here, I just don't think we can do it. Because we'd have to push, to, in order to really take advantage of the fact that we'd be defending that river, we'd have to push them back to it all the way up here. And I don't think we could push these guys back right now. Our guys just aren't, aren't equipped to do that at the moment. Just don't have the power. Um, should help. I really wish there was just a all strategically redeploy feature. I know people think the AI strategically redeploys too much, and it does partly, but honestly it does it too little as well. Like just here to here, you should just, just redeploy over there. And then you'll stand there and you'll regain organisation. And it'll all be grand. Okay, these guys are military police, so they should have the traditional pitchfork and red colour that I usually give to military police. These guys almost ready to fall here. Very nice indeed. Do we put a fort wall here? 
How do we put a fort wall here? Oh, planes. <laughs> I totally forgot about planes. All right. We need <laughs> we need a air base. Uh, just here seems ideal. Level two will do for now, I think. Nearest other air base is all the way over here in eastern Siberia, which is really not going to be good enough. These two fighter wings. Mm. Mm. I guess I can put them here into South Asia. Uh, there's only room for 200 in each of those, though, so one in each. Okay, which should give us air superiority here, nice and easy. Where are they? I hope they are. I really like you can see how far they are along visually now. I like that feature. It's very nice. Oh, they've moved a bit. That might be a precursor. Let's kill them. Should be an easy win here. Yeah, we'll win that. We could just let them die. Let them bleed out a bit more first. Just make it super easy. No, we're not taking many casualties in that, I don't think. Okay, still doing fine over there. Unfulfilled import requests. Hey, we can stop importing rubber. Nice. Okay, so this river defense should go in our favor. Getting a bit more supply here will be useful. I should have checked out the whole supply region. Okay, so this, this supply region is going to be an issue, given that it borders here, and we can't improve this infrastructure just down here. Actually, we probably can improve the infrastructure just here, because we control the um, the victory point. It's already level 4, though. Let's go to level 4 all the way along the board, see how it looks, then consider upping it a bit more. You, uh, if you could just... If you give him no attack order, will he just attack? No. Okay, if you just, just take take all this, all this land, would you... Yes. I'm so pleased we managed to get this whole area. It's really excellent. Wrap it up. Okay, how are we going down here? Almost finished. And there they go. Very nice. With the wiping out of those Chinese divisions, we can now focus on Saigon itself, which will be a tougher nut to crack. But if they are going to allow themselves to be encircled like this again and again, not very tough. And our guys are ready to deploy. Alright, I'd like some of them down here. I forgot that bug. I hate that bug. You can't deploy them in different places. If you click deploy one, it deploys all of them. Or then I just click deploy all. It's entirely possible. Let's send ten divisions down here. Just really wipe out the Saigon defense force. The other ten can come up here. Onto the Alash order front line. Still got bad supply here. We are holding their only attack. Although not as convincingly as I'd like. But with that glorious encirclement completed and the river fallback in the north established, I will call it a part here. Thank you ever so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.